Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here, find the limit of this as x approaches positive 1. Okay, so um, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this here, just like in the previous video, I, I made a mistake of, um, uh, well, I made a mistake on my first attempt, and only in making the mistake on my first attempt did I realize that there was a better way of doing it. Okay, so, so sometimes you just have to play around and, and, and make silly mistakes. So here, starting here, you times top and bottom by the conjugate of this. Okay, so, uh, well, don't forget, this, this is the wrong way of doing it. So, um, so just bear with me, and, and then later on you realize why it's wrong, and then you need to change your tactics. So here, uh, times top and bottom by the conjugate, so that would take you to this, that would take you to this stage here, and then, um, and then, hang on, and then, um, and then, then multiply this out, this times this, that would give you x, and then, and then this and this will later kill off each other, um, and, and then, and then you, you would get this times this, that will give you uh, negative 1 times positive 1, that will give you a negative 1. Okay, that, that, that was the whole point of times and by the conjugate. So, so something complicated becomes something really simple like this. Okay, and, uh, and then the bottom part, this times this, that will give you this, and then this times this, that will give you x, and then this times this, that will give you minus root x, this times this, that will give you minus 1. Okay, and and then you you, um, you get to a stage where where you were uh, as as x approaches one here you would get um, uh, you you basically would get zero over zero because this point here this part here would be one this here would be plus one this here would be minus one this here would be minus one giving you zero over zero and that was a mistake so the the, uh, only in realizing that I made this mistake, I had to go back and and um, and try something else. Now, the, you you might have to stare at this for for a long time here. Um, just I, I don't know how I know, but I, I just I just have some sort of hunch where well, this I, I know keep well this can easily be square rooted. This can easily be square rooted. This here, I know it's not easily square rootable, but, but you can imagine it as being easily square rootable, if that makes sense. My point here is that um, you, when, whenever you see something that can easily be square rooted here, easily square rooted here, and, and there's, there's a minus in between, then you can jump to something like this, x plus a, and then x minus a. So keep an eye out on something where, I, I know this thing here is not easily square rootable, but my, my, my hunch is that I can, I can factorize this, so it becomes this. So uh, normally it's easily square rootable, easily square rootable, so you would square root this, so that would be square root of x, and then plus whatever, the, plus 1, and then minus 1. Okay, it's just a trick. So whenever you try to factorize, keep an eye out on something that can easily be square root of something that can that that is easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there's there's a minus in between. Then you can jump to this. Okay. Now, yeah, this 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 is where the the, uh, the cunning part lies. So um, this is a cunning part. Factorizing factorizing this. Okay. So it then becomes this. And um, looking at this here, this is one bubble. This is uh, this here is another bubble. You see, these two they will kill of each other. So so when you're here, you can divide top and bottom by uh, by by root x minus one. Divide bottom by root root x minus one. Um, this here will then become uh, become one. Okay, because because exact same thing divided by exact same thing that will give you positive one. And this thing here. Um, this thing here divided by this thing here will just leave you this bit here. So that's this bit here. And then as as um, as x approaches positive one, this here will be one. So it'd be one. Well, it, it will be one over one plus one, which is a half. Now, if going back to here, if you um, if you, well, if you try and plot the graph here, if you plot the graph, it will look like this. And uh, clearly at um, at Positive one here, uh, dead on dead on positive one is undefined. But as it, but the limit, the limit, you can see it, it approaches a half here. Okay, from from the right hand side, it will it will also approach um, 
negative, well, who will approach positive uh, a half. Okay, so the so the overall the answer is this bit here.